Welcome back in. A tragic yeah. story of a pregnant woman ambushed outside of Walgreens. We all remember mm -hmm. this. Her mom says she didn't stand a chance to get away. And Greg Hurst talks with her about uh, the tragic <coughs> murder that left the mom without her child. And Greg. Damn, bro. Can you mute yourself when you do that, man? And child. Man, like, uh, man, up loogies and shit, man. <laughs> Nasty. It is now 6 in your Monday morning. Welcome back in. A tragic yeah. story of a pregnant woman ambushed outside of Walgreens. We all remember mm -hmm. this. Her mom says she didn't stand a chance to get away. And Greg Hurst talks with her about uh, this tragic murder that left the mom without her child and grandchild. And today's Manhunt Monday. My family wants to take justice into their own hands. And I have to talk them off the ledge. Mm. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's very real. active. That's real, though. I appreciate her saying that. Man. Yeah. My family wants to take justice into their own hands. And I have to talk them off the ledge all the time, every day. Imagine having your children alive and enjoying life one minute and then violently taken from you the next. That is exactly what Tanya Kerr is dealing with. Memphis police say her daughter, Kiara McNeil, was killed August 20th of 2020. She was only 32. It happened in the parking lot of Walgreens in the 9,000 block of Walnut Grove in Cordova. Kerr says her daughter was pregnant and went to Walgreens to meet someone to talk about her child. Homicide investigators say Kiara was sitting in her car waiting on the person to arrive when she was ambushed. She was backed up. Her car, Baby front of her car was facing Walgreens. So her back end was out toward Walnut Grove. Someone came through the bushes, went around her car, and shot her. Curse it. Wow. Uh, yeah. There's some energy there. I don't think it was a baby dad. It might have been the boyfriend. Like, you know what I'm saying? It could have been. I don't know. That's crazy. Uh, he went there to talk about the baby with somebody. I'm betting yeah. it was the father, and he's like, yeah. a bull is cheaper than child support. It's no coincidence. Car and shot her. Kerr says her daughter didn't stand a chance. The aims a were strictly at her mm. stomach. I think it was five shots. The bullet was there all of them was shot to the stomach. Yeah, that's that they know that's why the family wants it. The family yeah, they know exactly who to hit. Yeah, they know who did that shit. Hell yeah, they know off the top. Yeah, right. that right. was that was a message. That was a message. That was some brazen bold shit. The aims were strictly at her stomach. I think it was five shots to the stomach and one to the leg. So whoever did this was aiming to make sure that she did not have the baby. According that to was Kerr, the daddy Kiara was or... six months pregnant at the time she oh, was. Oh, Bill, you gotta you, 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 gonna, you gonna fuck up my playback when you talk over the video. That she did not have the baby. According to Kerr, Kiara was six months pregnant at the time she was killed. Police say the gunman took Kiara's life that day and the life of her unborn child. Kerr prays every day that her daughter's killer will soon be brought to justice. I can't even describe the pain that I'm feeling because I wouldn't want anybody to feel this pain. If you know who killed Kiara McNeil, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers at 901-528-CASH. Your tip could... <sighs> I say it was either the baby daddy or the baby daddy's side piece. Yeah, but sneaking through the bushes and shooting like that, that's not a woman thing. A no. woman might have <laughs> kicked her in the stomach or fought her and tried to make her lose the baby. This was a guy did that. A guy did that. That was a that was a man did that, man. Um I'm 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 pretty sure of that. Probably a dude, a married man or something like that. It's like, no, nah, you ain't keeping this kid. She's like, I'm keeping mm -hmm. it, I'm keeping it. Yeah. Six along. A married man. That is a yeah, like she's gonna yeah, because the yeah. baby you you can you can get through cheating on your wife, but a baby, yeah, that's hard. That's over. Yeah, that fuck it up real bad. Yeah, yeah. it's over with then. That's a that's the tallest step. Oh my god, look at this shit, man. <laughs> Learning more <laughs> about the 12-year-old boy accused of shooting his sister than himself over the weekend. What? Where was this? Where was the? Where was this in the? In the on shade room and all the bull the, the IG pages that talk about every fucking white person that touches a fucking black person, which isn't enough. Learning more about the twelve-year-old boy accused of shooting his sister 
than himself over the weekend in Whitehaven. Tonight, Memphis police tell us the 14-year-old girl is still in the hospital but has been upgraded to stable condition. WRG Shea Arthur has more on what local leaders are doing to prevent situations like this one. Tragedy fills this Whitehaven apartment complex off two-lane road. Blue lights and crime scene tape, the markers of a family destroyed. So many guns are not safely stored. Memphis police tell us a 12-year-old boy shot his 14-year-old sister before turning the gun on himself and dying Saturday night. Invest what the fuck? Wow, bro. That's crazy. Sons? Are these white folk in Memphis? I know, because I've never heard of no such shit. That's a, that's, a, that's, a white, that's a white person thing. Yeah, this don't sound like sons, man. We ain't like that, man. Investigators no, 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 no. two other people no, 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 were able to ago. escape the shooting. Yeah. Yeah. There was a video yeah, yeah, years ago. Of, there was a video years ago of a girl. She shot her brother. It was like they were like playing with a gun. She shot her brother on the video. And then she shot herself. Shot, shot. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. It, 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 I mean, yeah, we accidentally shoot. But not pop your sister, then off yourself. That's that's I that's beyond me. I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, we we different though. I'm not saying it's never ever in the history of the world happened. I'm just saying it's just not likely. It, 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 it wouldn't end. It wouldn't end with the kid with the. It wouldn't end with the kid uh, offering himself. No. No, son. Before turning the gun on himself and dying Saturday night, investigators say two other people at the home were able to escape the shooting. We've asked police, but officers have not told us what led up to the incident. It's also unclear how the boy got his hands on a gun. No one has been charged in the case. But this tragedy comes on the heels of calls for changes with gun laws in the state of Tennessee. Just last week, Shelby County Mayor Lee Harris was one of four mayors in the state to pin a letter to the governor calling for changes to reduce gun violence. Speaking to me, he highlighted the importance of safe storage. We've got way more guns than the number of individuals that live in our state. And so each one of those guns has to be uh, attended to. We've got to have a safe storage of those guns. Yo, that doesn't work with sons. That, that just doesn't. No, register. that's bullshit. No, he just talking. It doesn't, doesn't matter. So you, We're not you, so storing in other no words, guns. In other words, the gangs are going to go get some nice uh, lock safes with the little uh, thumbprints. No, on but there. regular son people. Not he, he knows that. He knows that. Regular son people. Some person could have but many babies is that last the girl in the last story and just have a gun like under a couch cushion. What or a gun in a drawer in a nice what under the bed. Under the bed. Yeah, yeah. We don't we don't these things these things don't work with us. We do we don't in, in general too. Like yes, there's some people, some some people like 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 yeah, some some people will do that. But 90% of us, we don't operate like that. This is a glider mentality. Well, and also, we have firearms to use them at a moment's notice. Exactly. Right. We got, we got, we got, we got time for all this unlocking and shit. That's a right. great point. <laughs> that, is, that is a great point. We, yeah, when you're a glider, you have it like for shooting on the weekend or just shit like that. We oh. get we live in war zones. We live in yeah. places where somebody <laughs> breaks the door. We live in a place where, like, a minor disagreement can turn into, like, you know what I'm saying? Gang violence. Like, just, yeah, yeah, just you don't have time here. to do a fucking scavenger at, at any moment, you run around the house moment. and try to assemble a gun. Hey, yeah. I've, been, I've, been, I've been around plenty of gliders who had guns, and they, they do the exact same thing. They have, they'll have a gun. They'll have gun or guns stashed, stashed someplace in the open or, or behind a door or something like that, ready for, ready in case someone, you know, tries to hurt them. So it's it's pretty universal that people just have guns, you know, available in case of you know in case of emergency. Yeah, yeah I'm talking about in general though. In general, yeah. you can and, get and, gliders to put guns in lock boxes and shit. Yeah, and I mean, one of my homeboys like that. He had glided with a hell of a bunch of guns, but he got all kind of cases and fucking. Mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, they'll have that. Um, yeah, they'll have and shit like that. Oh, yeah, None of my too. son homies got any of that shit. Gats is where they at. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. I'm saying they'll have, they'll have they'll have they'll have certain guns in the safe, but there'll be one or two that they'll keep out just yeah, yeah. just in case. I know a lot of country yeah. boys that be keeping their guns out like that, but that's some country and shit. Yeah, yeah. but, but these are they... city people. These are city people. These are city sons, man. And they and, and you in the city and your son that that thing gotta be you got. That shit gotta be on. Yeah. It's the wild wild west. <laughs> yeah. So um, 
Murrah Monster says, yo, what's up, Ah? You guys covered Jordan Neely, the homeless crazed man who got choked out by a former Marine in NYC. Yeah, we covered that already. LOL. They have AOC and other people protesting now for this violent crazy homeless dude. Oh God, AOC is in it. That 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 Marine is in trouble. Um, yeah. We gotta make sure those guns don't fall into the wrong hands. All right, man. They talk yeah, about the more stuff. the more upstanding the guy is, the worse it's gonna the worse the outcome is gonna be for him. Oh yeah. Oh man, let me let me see, man. Um this is this is Memphis is by by the way stats for Pine Bluff, Arkansas are off the hook, right? They uh, they have a murder rate of fifty six point five murders per hundred thousand. The national average is six point five. Jesus Christ! So they just not reporting the shit. No, just they just got a small population. Six, six murders for their population yeah. is like probably like six hundred for another city. Yeah, it was 23, 23 in a year. 